open? Yeah. I guess that is recording. I can't really Can see. You see. No? You stop then. Yeah, there you are. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. This is. There we go. Just so bright up here that you can't see. Hello. We're on top of a uh, crater here in Maui. You can look at it across there. We're heard the expression on top of the world. We're just right there. We've well, we come up here from sea level to 10,000 feet. Across the way there you can see the tip of the mountain that we came from. Barely sticking up through the clouds. Very quiet, and very beautiful up here. There's a visitor center down below. Raymond's found her pet rock over here. Yeah, yeah that says Ricard. Okay. We're standing on top of the summit here looking down into part of the crater. You can see the, the cylinder cones that spew that when the volcano was active. And I can't pronounce the name of this volcano, but we're here. And uh, I'm gonna swing back around and you can see the big island of Hawaii in the distance. We're looking out over, you, you're seeing, uh, there's another high cinder cone that spewed up when the volcano was made. And across the way, you can see the big island of, of Hawaii. That's one of the volcanoes. And there's another one you're looking. It's about 100 miles across over to it. Of course, below the clouds is the ocean, but you can't see it. But we're literally, feel like you're on top of the world. We're over 10,000 feet. And uh, and we came up here one, about the road. Uh, on a road, which was 38 miles of winding road, but it... Uh, it was just back and forth, just back and forth, just... Tallest in the world. And they said this was the greatest accent uh, in the shortest period of time in any road in the world. And I believe it after dri driving up here. I think it was. Air's pretty thin, so I'm having a little trouble breathing here. But it's quite a deal. Really beautiful. Perfect view. But we do look out over the clouds back around and get another shot down and you can see down I don't know if I can pull this up or not you can see a little better down in some of the cones down in there way down the way way across the way very brown I'll swing on around here and get Rama she's still on top of the world I'm in the volcano She's got her suitcase. We've been here two days and we got her suitcase last night. So finally she, got clothes. So she's finally <laughs> been feeling better now. Just looking looking down into the one of the bigger pits here. See been so long there's some vegetation growing over the way there. But you can see the cinders where the lava bubbled up at times. Looking down into the volcano here. See the black bowl of rock there. Let's move around just a little. Come on around just a little. Lots of rock just spewed up here. Rim of the volcano here. That's several miles down in there. It look doesn't look that far, but it's a long way. You have to take a day's hike down in there. It's kind of like the Grand Canyon. A lot, uh, a lot of distance there. Real unusual.
I want to get a picture of this because we're uh, descending off the volcano, but this, the clouds and everything is such a, you're looking down on the clouds and of course the blue is the ocean. And so it, it's kind of like you're upside down. Instead of looking at the sky blue, you're looking at the ocean. So I just want to get a picture of that. And it turned out of the countryside here, but you see, it's just a wall of clouds down there. Just like you had a wall, we'll go through them directly on our way down, but right now we're above the clouds and got the clouds and then the ocean. We're on our way down the mountain and we've come down a ways and we're nearly down to the clouds that we were talking about a while ago. See, we're just about on the level with them. And it's kind of an interesting, we've come through pine trees and everything in just a short distance here. It's a lot of difference in the in the area. In fact, is I'll come on around here. You can see some of the pine that I'm talking about. It's kind of really strange that we have such a drastic change in, in the countryside uh, in a, just a short distance. And uh, I thought it's kind of an interesting phenomenon here because we're going down we'll be down in the clouds in a minute but right now we're just nearly even with them that we were way above them while ago up at the summit of course we'll be way below them when we get down to the bottom but it's really beautiful quite a sight I stopped here to take a picture of this tree because these are blue flowers on them and they're big trees they're most unusual they look like our crepe myrtles except they're big trees We've been seeing them everywhere, and that's the only place I was able to stop to take it, but it was kind of unusual. You can kind of see the lush vegetation around here, really. But that tree is so unusual, I want to get a picture of it. And look here what I... Yeah, I don't know if I had that on the card while ago or not. I know I did when I was taking it. them morning glories and Rama had a bunch of stuff to show me. I don't know if I got it or not. Maybe I did. No, one of those trees I've been trying to get a picture of. I'm, you can see them, they're just growing everywhere. Of course, along the road you see the flowers blooming here. Just They're just, everything's really pretty. Can't it's, get one this on the road down from the volcano. This is some of the scenery that we're seeing on the road up to Hana. It's kind of like a jungle. But if you notice this, go around and you'll see these wild flowers blooming. They've just been everywhere. Uh, they just uh, grow real tall and on, on the bushes. And then you see in the background there, you see out over the ocean, you can see it in the background. Dark, dark blue, very, very beautiful. And this is just like a jungle, but you see the the flowers, they're, they're everywhere. I'm gonna see if I can zoom up You see the flowers down in there that's I'm not sure I've got them, but maybe I have. But they are that's very, very pretty. Stopped on the way up to Hana again and this is a view out across the way. I thought it was kind of pretty. Kind of get an idea of what we're going through. It's very pretty. This gives you an idea of how dense everything is here when you get into the forest. Here, that's just like a jungle. I mean, this is what we've been driving through for miles here, and it's just, it's just like it is in the Amazon. It's just unbelievable how thick the forage is and everything. It's you just. Yeah, be just like Tarzan, but this is this is supposedly a trail right here that I've got my deal on, but I don't think we're going to go back up it too far. But it is interesting, and as you can see, you can go right on up, and you can see the, the sky, but it's uh, clouds moving by pretty fast, and, but we're down here, and lots of vines coming down. It's just uh, very, very... It's a beautiful and very dense. It's a view I especially like here that comes from 
road to Honda. You can see the cars across the way. We've been there and coming this way. But this is something I thought was really spectacular. I'm going to pull the water up because you can see the see the bottom of the ocean. You can see the rocks underneath. Isn't that something? Fantastic. Beautiful. Stop that pretty cool. You can see the ocean, see the bottom of the ocean down there. Water so clear, so blue. Spectacular view from up here. It's on the road to Hana in Maui, Hawaii. Beautiful, beautiful sight. The view has got an island and there was some habitation on it. It's really pretty and it's very unusual formation. I'm going to pull it up and see if I can get it a little better. You can see that going out jag, you've got an opening in the ocean there. Clean that rock, it goes out. I guess that formed a lava flow at one time. Very unusual. There's some breakers right down there. See the ocean, the breakers coming in on the ocean down there. Red or something, very beautiful. I'm on the side of the road where we just eat the picnic sandwich, but I wanted to give you an idea of the different kinds of vegetation that there are here. Just amazing uh, what all you see just when you look into the, the trees. It's just all kinds of different kinds of plants and flowers and they're all just growing wild. And there, as you can see, they're all down in the, the it's just I'm right on the edge of a deal and it's straight down, but this is characteristic driving through for miles here. Very, very beautiful drive, fantastic views, and the flowers over the way, I don't know if you pick them up, let's see if I can get them a little closer. Yeah, so you see, and they're, those are scattered everywhere, those flowers like that are just, they're just all throughout the canyon, scattered out through the jungle here, and they're just miles and miles of them, and We've just seen more and more of them all the time, and they're just so pretty because they're just scattered everywhere. But really a pretty thing. In this same area that I'm in, I'm gonna swing up the hill here, and you can see the palms, isn't that pretty? The way those palms are just kind of standing out above everything else. And you just can't grasp how this is, but just, I've showed you down on the, other side where the flowers were. Now this is up on the other side, and it's just like this everywhere. I mean, it's just steep. I'm gonna pull up some of these so you can see some of the leaves on those flowers. I don't know if you can see them or not, but they, they're just unusual on those trees. Of course, you're going up, and you get way on up in there, but it's just amazing. And then, like I say, we're going to swing around here back to the three ponds. Let's see if I can pull them up. Whoop. They're pretty on the horizon. Very pretty.
Oh, there's some more back up down there. Higher, right? Higher? Yeah, see. I see one. Yeah, we're up, up, up here. Get up here, yeah, you get better. On the road behind, this is a waterfall, very pretty. This is downtown Hana. This is what we come all this way to get to. 38 miles of crookedest roads in the world to get to downtown Hana. That's pretty though. We survived. This is our where we're staying. Rama, wave. Yes. Rama's. Wave good morning, aloha. Yeah. Got some pretty palms here and everything. Right where in our little where we're staying. Good morning. Good morning, Joel. Aloha, aloha. I'm ready for the day. All We're right. Enjoy our things around here. What'd you do yesterday? Oh, I went to the crater into the road to Hana. It was wonderful. What and, did you see? Oh, lush, 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 wonderful, beautiful flowers and trees. Okay. Beautiful. What are you fixing to do tonight? Lua! <laughs> <laughs> Gonna go and eat that pig. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. This is the Sheridan Maui where we're staying. Very pretty grounds, very manicured. Swim pools off. There you can see the ocean in the background there. Close up a little more. See, there's the rock they dive off of over there. The black rock. Come on around. Ramos enjoying the view. Lots of flowers everywhere. Of course, you can see the flowers hanging over the side everywhere. It's another view of where we're staying and it's get down over the pool. The pool just goes for a long ways. It winds in and out of the pines and has bridges and things like that. And it just palms, palms and everything everywhere. And of course you go out on the ocean. But 
gives you an idea of how nice it is here. It's really a super nice place. Food's been good, the accommodation's good, the, just a very, very good place. But yummy, yummy. Yummy, yummy. <laughs> this is some more of the same grounds. They just get an idea of how big this place is just to be a motel. This is a golf, got, little golf course. And it's also got a golf course, and I don't know what all tied in with it. But you can see that you just go around, and of course you've got your several different beach areas. This is one of them right there. And uh, going back around to the Black Rock. Really, uh, this is here at the front of the Maui. It's uh, where you come in. It's really pretty, lots of flowers. And, and uh, the name of yeah, I, I can't get around the name, but I'll do that. I wanted to kind of show you Right through here is a, there's a golf course over there. Beautiful, I don't know if I can get it or not, but one of the most beautiful golf courses I've ever seen. I'll get another shot of it when I get around to the front. Here's a golf course across the street from the Sheraton Maui where we're staying. It was so pretty, I just had to make a picture of it because it's, it is really something. Just manicured the whole thing is a green. It just you just can't imagine how pretty this golf course is, and it just goes for a long, long ways. But it's a it's a very attractive deal. This is the entrance to the Sh Sh Sheridan Maui where we we're staying. You just come right on up. Actually, the entrance to it is on up at the top of the hill. I don't think I can pull it up, but it's a uh, very, uh, I'll have to go up there to get it, but it's really a, just a beautiful entrance here all the way around. We showed you the back first, but this is the front. Of course, here's where you park, you know, if you valet or self-park in either one. Come on down, Rama. Come on down. There's Rama, she's coming. This is the run of the, where you come up and get out in the valet park. They just had a wedding. They just had a wedding this morning here. Be a beautiful place for one. But this is where we've been staying the last four days. Very beautiful place. Sheraton Maui. Pools are pretty, as you can see, they've got streams like this. Going to different pools, it connects the pools together. Very attractive. And you can just kind of sweep on around, see where you are in connection there. There's the beach out there where you can go and see it. Really a neat place. I'm going to swing you around here and show you where we've been eating our dinner each night. A little restaurant here. There's more than one here, but this one we like because of the atmosphere and the food's been excellent there. Very, very good. Some unusual foods, but some of them, but they've been very tasty. And so, just wanted to share that little tidbit with you. And another thing that's really impressive is the way the grounds are here. The, the grass is just immaculate. And uh, it's just, uh, you just. Uh, all luxury. All luxury. Very nice. And, of course, you just uh, see the flowers everywhere that you go into, everywhere you go just about. And right up there is an example of it, if I can pull them up. Right up in there. I don't know if you can see those or not. 
But anyway, they're over there. <laughs> They do. There's waterfalls here. I'm gonna walk a little bit. Get back up here where I can show you. It's so ivy. Yeah, I've got ivy and got the waterfalls everywhere. Move out of the way, huh? There you go. Yeah. Go here, and of course you got your big palms and stuff up there. I'm gonna zero in on pull one of these flowers here and see if, oh, see if you can. Those are bright red, and they're just everywhere around here, even in the wild. I saw lots of them yesterday of traveling the road to Hana. Really pretty. Of course, you come around here and you can see a lot more of well, Alice than everybody. Yeah, you having fun yet? Yes, I am. Wonderful. <laughs> Let me get you on that. <laughs> did you have a Did you have a time in the ocean this morning? Uh, undescribable. <laughs> That's did, the reason I look so lovely. I had a tumble. <laughs> you got rolled up in the waves, didn't I you? I did, and had to. Scrape the sand. Mom couldn't stand up, and the waves knock her down, and it rolled her like a ball all down the beach, and everybody laughing at her, at both of us, because I was trying to catch her and hold her, and it got us both down. So on the count of three, everyone will say hooky, and our men will pull the kalua pua from our... Thank you. 